and welcome to Tony's Medical Update coming to you from St. Vincent's Private Hospital in Brisbane on a glorious summer day where I am ensconced in my pink leg rabbit. Can you see that? Let's see. Oh, I get the camera at the right angle. There we are. There, there she is. The glorious swell. Trying to get the right angle. There she is. Yeah, in all her glory. Still encased in the cast. And today, coming to you live from the cafe and the deck of the cafe. Lovely little area here. Able to watch the traffic hurling towards the story bridge and sitting in fresh air. Oh, you don't know how comfortable and wonderful it is to come outside after being in a ward for so long and being able to come outside and sit here. It's absolute luxury. A beautiful little space. Um, and not only that, I have scored a wheelchair, which I share with one of the other guys in the ward, so we are a bit more independent now. I do have to ask a nurse to bring the chair a bit closer so I don't break a leg or any other part of my anatomy while I hop onto the chair from my um, comfy chair. And then once I'm in this, I have freedom to roam all over the place. I don't go to palliative care because... Uh, not ready for palliative care yet, but I can come down here to the ground floor and have a nice coffee, which is really good, and a few treats, and thank you. Thank you to the people who have brought treats and delicacies. I really appreciate that. That's been an absolute delight. And in fact, to all people who have sent online greetings or dropped by visiting hours, if you're in Brisbane and want to drop by from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. every day. Just be aware on weekdays now between 12.30 and 1.30 usually I might be at the gym. Now that may surprise people, it surprised me. I'm not a gym junkie but part of my rehab program here is now a daily session at the gym, mostly doing upper body work. Of course my leg is in a state of total rest during rehab. I'm here at least till the 18th of February when I go back to the martyr. They take off the cast and send me loose to walk on water. Well, maybe not. Apparently, the first few walks are pretty gentle uh, and it's a graduated uh, program of um, moving towards putting full weight on my foot. So I don't know what that means, but it means that I won't walk out of the Mata and stroll across the Brisbane River in a state of sublime miracle. <coughs> However, I do look forward to having the car stop and me not able to stand on two feet. This has been a marvellous experience of discovering the art of personal care. Wonderful. I have such an admiration for anyone who does personal care for another person. As somebody who needs, <coughs> excuse me, who needs a little bit of support for some basic things like putting your jocks and dacks on. Because getting down there and bending over with a cast on means I will tumble over and even create more injury to this fragile 68 and nearly 68 year old frame 23rd of february oh if what if i'm still here i'll have to have a birthday party in the part in the hospital Arrgh! not sure how that's going to function and work but visitors welcome and the online greetings are equally appreciated at least i have the technology wonderful wi-fi and can keep in touch with people and the news all around the place so, to those who are celebrating the Chinese Lunar New Year, greetings and best wishes. Really missing the fireworks, uh, but because of COVID, I believe there is less dragon dancing this year. Apparently, dragon people just can't do COVID safe distance dancing, something like that. So, all going well? 
yes, uh, upper body is fine. Lower body is fine too. No pain or anything. Just this terrible cast on my leg. So I don't quite know. Um, there's nothing else to really tell you except about the cast. That's Eris walking past. Eris and I occasionally play cards in the patient lounge. Okay. We play Uno and all sorts of other things. That's what it's all about here. Get to know a whole new community of people. So, Eris has got himself a bit of a snack. Uh, you, would, you don't need snacks here. They give you so much bloody food. You don't really need snacks. There's food non-stop, oh. isn't there, Eris? Yeah. Across three meals, we it's get an extraordinary so. menu. It's really delightful. So, uh, this is just a quick update to let you know I'm still alive. Still kicking, or oh, <laughs> kicking goal. Well, not even kicking behinds here, just um, resting under physio and OT orders so that nothing, absolutely nothing, is done with my right leg. Consequently, my left leg doesn't need to do, except hop. I have developed the art of hopping in the most amazing way. So, that's about all now for now. Um, I look forward to uh, your greetings and visits if you're in town. Bring Tim Tams, please bring Tim Tams. No, you don't have to bring Tim Tams, you can just come by, it's fine. Okay, so from St. Vincent's Hospital, Brisbane, this is Tony Robertson signing off from another amazing Tony Talks Medical Adventures.